Hello all, this is Ellen. I was doing a bit of a de-stash this week and I ran into these fabric crayons. I see that I paid $2.99 for them. I can't swear to where I bought them for them and how long I've had them. But I took a few minutes to look at the directions and it seemed quite easy. Basically what the directions say is that you draw and color something on a piece of paper. Place this piece of paper on top of a piece of fabric such, such as this is a t-shirt I have here. And uh, you iron it onto the shirt and what you have left is a composite of what you've just done. Now I used watercolor paper to do this drawing. It was actually a scrap piece of paper because I'm just testing this out and I tried to use as many colors as possible just to see if it would transfer so and it did I did lift it a couple of times to make sure it would be even so that's why it does have that uh, appearance of, uh, of a slightly smudged appearance but all in all I thought it was a, a really good uh, technique that uh, you could use with church groups and homeschool parents could use with their kids. I do recommend that you should definitely have uh, an adult work with the child when using the iron. I use the iron on a, a low setting and I'm sure a craft iron if you have that that's at one setting all the time would be perfect for this. They do call for you to put another piece of paper on top of the paper that you're ironing but because I was using a thick watercolor paper, I didn't do that. But I did put a piece of paper on the inside of the t-shirt just to protect it from going it through to the other side. So I thought it was a really nice technique. Again, I don't know if these things, these crayons, fabric crayons are still being um, manufactured because I, I, my stuff, a lot of stuff on my stash is old. But I, I thought if you can run into them, you should definitely try it. I think kids would have a ball walking around with their own drawings on them. And maybe some adults too. Take care. Bye-bye.